Here comes the rain. Let's get her back in the car. It's raining. Uh, Gloria. Hi everybody. Yeah, she can walk. She's just fearful. It is 12.55, almost 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, the first sighting came in early this morning. Seventh, no, we did not get Grandpa. No, we did not get Grandpa. That is Sugar, his girlfriend that you just saw. We have been out riding nonstop. The only break we took was to get out of the car and set up a station with a blanket and a bed and just sit with grandpa's girlfriend sugar with she's in heat um, I am NOT going to lie and say we haven't tried to think of everything we have a trap set up we have a camera set up to watch for motion we have a this is probably a first for me we have a pad uh, disgusting I know but it's zip tied to my back handle of my car with Sugar's blood um, to hopefully pick up scent for Grandpa. Um, literally just on the outside of my car, hoping he can smell her. We have Sugar again um, in the back of the car. She's a pure angel. A pure angel. I have Gloria passenger over here. I have Shelly in the back. I know I'm on. Um, again, we've been out here all day since early this morning. Uh, I've received a couple of calls, no sighting since the first sighting this morning. I just got off the phone with the gentleman that was so kind yesterday that um, was sitting with Grandpa when he was laying on the side of the road on Oakland um, in front of the Bella Vista Apartments. He's out looking as well. I told him the whole backstory. He had no idea. He couldn't believe it. Uh, I don't think any of us can believe how far this boy has traveled. The one thing that he did tell me um, was Grandpa's paws are pretty cut up, which are to be expected running the pavement, the heat. So he's, his paws are pretty bloody um, and, and cut up. So I'm, I'm sure that is causing him to slow down. Um, I don't know if he was clipped by a car. I have no idea. We are on Oakland in the back of a church. Um, just a little bit past 31st Martin Luther King. Uh, he was seen here, right? This is where he was seen? Right yeah, around on here? Sunday. On Sunday. Sunday. Mm -hmm. So he was seen here on Sunday. Um, we ran, literally ran right by Gloria and one of our volunteers. So Gloria decided that this would be a good spot to set up a trap if he should come back with food and um, his little girlfriend, Sugar. Um, her basic panties with a bloody pad. Uh, dogs pick up scent for how many miles did they say away? Three miles? Three miles. Yeah, three, miles. Yeah. three miles away. So if he's in this area, our hopes are that he's going to smell sugar and the pads. And we've again stopped a couple of times, several times, um, taking sugar out of the car and just sitting still quietly, maybe hoping that he's going to smell her and come around. Uh, we're going to start driving again. I don't know what else to do. I really, really don't know what else to do other than what we're doing. I can't think of anything that we've missed. The one thing I will address that all of you were shouting out on a lot of our videos were, please, can't you tranquilize with a, a shot, you know, a, a tranquilizer gun? Absolutely no. We've done it before. We've witnessed it. Sometimes it takes the dog a while for it to go down. That means he will be running with a tranquilizer dart in his body. With him, the way he runs, he's not contained. He will get completely slammed and ran over by a car. We are, and we're not going to take that chance. It's not happening. It's not safe. Um, it's not safe to drug a dog that is not contained where you can keep eyes on if they go down. It is a death sentence. So with all that being said, we appreciate your input. Um, this is definitely not our first or 20th rodeo. Um, we know what we're doing. We would never do anything to put a dog in harm. 
So we appreciate your input, but that is a definite no. That is a no. So with all this being said, shut the wipers off now. It stopped raining. <clears throat> and I am heading back out. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like here. And again, I'm going to repeat, if anybody lives in the area and wants to go out and drive around and look for him and try to spot him, the more eyes that we have out driving would be so very helpful. But the one thing I have to reiterate to all of you over and over again, please do not try to be a hero. There is no heroes, okay? It's a team effort. We're doing everything in our power. Okay, and that means that if you see him, what we're asking from you is to stay in your car very calmly. Do not scream, do not get out of your car and wave your hands or try to feed him. You need to call me or text me immediately where you've seen him. You can, my phone number is everywhere. My personal cell is everywhere. Just text me exactly or call me immediately if you have any sighting of grandpa his posting his photo is everywhere we also just got word um apparently um they don't want signs up it's illegal to post signs in lauder hill and it's 150 dollar uh, a sign it's illegal to post signs which basically really sucks because the way we're getting calls is by the signs no drones. We've done drones in the past. We're not doing drones. No drones. But thank you again for your input. Um, we did it with Blanche. It didn't do a thing. And we had a professional drone flyer out who does it for a living. So uh, with all this being said, we're heading back. Okay, there's a sign right there. That's good. Yeah. Um, we're on. There's the Dollar Tree right there on the corner. Okay, that green, um, right outside of the Dollar Tree where that car is, at the, and that's the main road there is Oakland Park. We're in the back now. We're gonna take another little drive through the um, trailer park off of 33rd Avenue off of Oakland. And we're gonna head back and see if we see anything. Uh, we do, listen, we are exhausted since Thursday night. We have not stopped, not for a second. I want to say thank you to Keith for holding down Fort at Rescue House 2. Thank you. Um, I want to say thank you to our entire 100 plus team that have been out day and night and searching and Gloria for driving back and forth from Miami. Thanks, Gloria. Uh, Shelly, who's exhausted and is such a trooper always. I'm just going to say a one big shout out to everybody. I'm not going to mention names. You know who you are and everybody that's hitting a share button or everybody that's doing something to help. But again, if you're in the area, please get in your car and drive around. And if more eyes, the better. I can, we can only cover so much um, without, we need more people. But again, remember, remain in your cars. Do not get out and be a hero. Just call or text me if you have any sighting of him. Because right now, what we're holding our breath for, truthfully, is a sighting. As soon as we get a sighting, then we can go to that area and we can take Sugar out of the car and sit. That means he's close and he will smell her. And that's our only hope right now. The only other hope, which is a nightmare, uh, to get him safe at this rate is for him to get hit by a car and hopefully not injured enough where we can get a call to pick him up from a road. Um, and that's not what I want for him. It's not what I want for him to get him safe. I'd love for him to come to us with sugar. And um, it's all I can tell you guys is we're doing our best. So again, thank you. This is our update. It's 104 on Tuesday. We're gonna head back in and drive around. There's still some signs up in here. Thanks for your prayers. Again, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. And this is what he looks like. Just for all of you that are watching, this is great. He has one blue eye, one brown eye. That's the number if you see him. There is a reward. He's a Catahoula mix, about 55 pounds. Please, a little white on his chest. He has a tail. 
please reach out to us. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida on our search still for grandpa.